So Clash Royale has allegedly become pay to win With all the new expensive tower troops, evolutions and level 15 Without money you are screwed Now, I want to see how hard the free to play experience is in 2024 So I'm going to try to get a whopping 6,000 trophies without spending a single cent And if I fail, I need to oil up and go to the stream This is gonna be something 6,000 trophies as a free to play What have I done? Right off the bat, my morale was already low And I started moving my hands like this because of this You know what's funny? There's probably a voiceover over this right now correct anyways we then had to make a name what is your name and after some really deep thinking i came up with this masterpiece i got it i got it my friend josh since he's broke sorry josh anyways we then made it to arena one this is where the fun begins and then clash royale already started edging me oh, i wish i could buy this getting to arena two was not that hard why because it's full of bots why did bro arrows that? Did you think your arrows were gonna do anything to my push? Although his mini pet is gonna destroy me. I think that's game. Maybe it's not game. Musketeer finished the tower. Musketeer finished the tower. Musketeer. Yes. Arena 2. That wasn't too bad. Then Clash Royale started making me edge even more. Bro, we're already getting spammed with so many offers. We then kept pushing and I decided to do this. You know what I just realized? We're not wearing the correct attire. Give me a second. Many of you won't expect what I come back with. Got it. And I start to change to the free-to-play outfit while playing Clash Royale. Now, this is the correct attire for a free-to-play challenge. Anyways, we then kept rushing through the first few arenas since they were easy. The juicy and extreme parts come later. Anyways, I think that's game. Yep, that mini pecker. Great fireball by my opponent, by the way. And Arena 3. We then had to do this to the deck. Honestly, I'm gonna put my most overleveled cards in the deck. So, level 5 Bomber instead of level 3 Musketeer. Level 5 Mummy Valkyrie instead of the mini pecker. And Spear Goblins instead of Minions. I was updating the deck constantly on my way to Arena 4 and making my deck based on levels instead of using cards I actually won, and it was painful. And he's going in already super hard. What the hell? He has level 7 cards. Yo, that's gonna connect. That's gonna connect. What the hell? Okay, not very good start already. Musketeer the bridge. I like that. I like that. That, that. No, that's clever. That's clever. Watch, he's gonna go back around the bridge. No, try it. I can't even use this. I need, I need to save this for the battle ramp. And the fireball. I bet he's gonna kill my mega. That fireball almost kills my mega minion. He has a mini peck on cycle. What was that placement? <laughs> this guy's over leveled, has a tower skin and everything. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, he's both gone from barbarians. See if we can catch a battle ram. Can we catch a battle ram? Nah. My fireball doesn't kill barbarians. This defense is gonna be a little scuffed. Yeah, I can't defend that. I cannot defend that. <sighs> my goblin ball is gonna clean everything. Oh, are these inferno towers, bro. <laughs> he goes for barbarians, the bridge. Okay. He goes for Mega Minion the bridge. Bro is just spamming every card he knows. Giant blocked Inferno Tower. I need to blow my nose. Okay. Oh, I think that's game. I think that's game. Yeah, that's game. Yep. GG. Arena 4. Let's go. We then go our first actually good free to play reward. And we can get the lucky drop. Hopefully they give us something good because I'm a free to play player. Come on. Oh, it's a common. Oh, it's a rare. Okay, we'll take that. That's better than a common. 100%. We're going to be grateful. 2,500 gold, you could have at least given me some wild cards, man. And after getting scammed, I came to this realization. This is my first time not buying the pass royale. At least you can get some free rewards, you know? Like the, the chess. I guess this is alright. Come on, let's be real, that was not alright. We were struggling to upgrade our deck. Level 6 bomber. Man, these levels... Oh, we're level 8, look at that. We then made our way to Arena 5. Barbarian's prediction, now! <laughs> Why did I do that? How am I going to defend this now? Oh, no. Yeah, that's tower. Yeah, that prediction just cost me the game. I just... Wait, what? No, no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't cost me the game. It did not cost me the game. How did I get away with that? I'm just going to skeleton into the battle ram. Good. We get to cycle. I'm going to kite. No! No, I, I wanted to kite. Oh, wait, I couldn't kite either way because of the archers. It's a barbarian. Wait, his tower, his tower, his tower, his tower, his tower, his tower. His tower. GG and Arena 5, man. I then started getting a little stressed. We're not even one quarter of the way and it's already been three hours. And I was making my stress even worse by looking at the shop. Look at all these special offers. I wish I could buy them, especially these ones, bro. They'd make me so overleveled. Ah, oh, it burns, man. We kept going and all my games to Arena 6 were super close and I was under leveled. Now we're gonna get Barbarian's prediction. Now we're gonna get Barbarian's prediction. Ah! Let's go. He has a level nine battle ram. He's like four levels above me and everything. First, he's gonna put his mini pecker. 
No, he's gonna put Bobbins. He's gonna put Bobbins. Now he puts that. Okay, stop the wizard with this. Okay. Okay, we're slowly getting to his tower. We're slowly getting to his tower. Goblin cage. <laughs> <laughs> bro's barbarians arrived like 20 business days late. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, bro. That fireball, if he arrived a little earlier, the barram would have connected on my tower. And that would have done insane damage. Might have even lost that. Let's just play defensive for now. I want to cycle two goblin cages. Because I cannot break through, bro. I cannot break through. I cannot break through. Any pack of the wizard. Any pack of the wizard. Quickly, 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 quickly. Good, 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 good. Archer's here. 12 seconds left. I think we got this game in the bag now. Okay, he goes for a last minute desperate fireball. <gasps> we are destroying these overleveled players. And Arena 6. We then tried claiming all the free rewards we could, but it was just not enough. Oh, we're stuck as a level 6. We were unlocking our picks on our way up to Arena 7 from Trophy Road, making our deck a little stronger. But overall, we spent so much time in this arena as I lost so many games, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but I was feeling down, as getting 6,000 trophies started feeling impossible. Okay, and what do I do about that battle ram? Nah, I'm just gonna like connect, honestly. Oh man, these people are so overleveled, it's crazy. What do I even do about all of this? I'm just gonna go mini P.E.K.K.A. and then I'm gonna put a goblin barrel. Great, he has a level 8. What the hell? It doesn't even... Oh, my days, bro. Let's go mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, will that be tower? Oh, shoot! Oh, I just realized I didn't even take his tower down. Oh, my... Thank God I remembered, bro. Thank God I remembered, bro. Oh. I almost... Bro, I almost forgot for a second about his tower, man. Hi, GG. We are finally out of this place, man. Arena 7. And these epics we got on Trophy Road saved my life. And once again, we were struggling to get cards. Gems, Royal Giant, Knight, Valkyrie, and another Baby Dragon. Good. We need to upgrade our cards, man. Knight, Inferno Tower, okay. Oh, my days, man. It's so hard. And we made most of our deck epics as they start at level 6 and are easier to upgrade. Yo, Loki, am I use Skeleton Army instead of Gods? Thanks to the epics, our deck was more compatible and getting to Arena 8 wasn't that hard. Mummy, Pekka, Witch, Goblin Barrel, undefeatable. Look at that. Look at that. The goblins just go bang. Look at that, bro. The peck is just tanking constantly. And just like that, we took his tower. What the hell? What the hell do I do about that balloon? Can I make it on time? Can I make it on time? No! Uh, okay, I think that's just one hit. Uh, two hits. Oh, no. How does he have a balloon already again? Baby dragon. I think, I think that should make it. Oh, what? How did that get a hit? Oh, wait. 237 damage. Okay, I can't let his balloon connect. He doesn't have time for a balloon. Fireball the balloon back. G, G. And Arena A. We then opened our three chests. All right, we got Royal Giant Spear Goblin. So right down, we unlock the balloon. I might use that, you know? Please, can we get a freeze? Oh, we got the Prince. I don't I don't know if I want the Prince. And I want the Epics because they start off as a level six. Okay, we'll take a Goblin Barrel. To be perfectly honest, these chests were decent. It made our deck a little better. Okay, so we're going to put Prince instead of Mini Pekka just because of the levels. And let's give Balloon a shot instead of Skarmy. And on the way to Arena 9, we started losing a lot as our levels were not keeping up with the arenas. Balloon, Goblin Barrel. He wasted his arrows. This might hopefully be it. Balloon, at least one hit. Okay. Ah, this is gonna be close. Come on, witch. One more hit, one more hit. Oh. No, 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 no. I have nothing for the mini pack. No, 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 no. I need to, I need to get my elixir for the royal giant. I need to get the elixir for the royal giant. Ah. It was just impossible to beat these players with broken and over-leveled cards. What? How does bro have an evil firecracker, man? I don't even have a single evo, bro. Oh my days, my arrow. Oh, bro. No, he has arrows himself. Oh, dude, I hate it when I have to defensive goblin barrel. That peck is still gonna get a hit. What the hell? Being a free to play player, so. I was so annoyed, but I mean, it was just loss after loss after loss. But we did not give up. We kept going until we were one game away from Arena 9. I'm gonna sack that tower completely, yeah. Great. We lost our tower already. Let me get my... And he cycled back to another witch. That's amazing. Can we catch a score me? No, we can't. Great. Now my witch dies. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna put Baby Dragon there. Otherwise, it's gonna... Unbelievable. The spam is crazy. Well, it's now or never. Let's go. Can we get the tower? Uh, let's fireball that. See if we can uh, get okay. Yeah, but now I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna win. I want to get out of this arena, please, man. Just let me get out of this arena, please. 
this and this. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This could get juicy. Okay, let's defend now. Okay, the balloon gets some cheeky here, but there's like 400 damage. It doesn't even matter. Pekka, you have to kill that. Pekka, you have to kill that. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm, I'm actually tensed up right now. My, my, my body is clenched right now. My abs are... Oh, my God. Okay, let's go in again. Let's see if we can catch a musketeer or something. I don't know. Please? Okay, we shoot the Valkyrie back. Please. Oh, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Go right in the pocket, maybe. Yes! Oh! Oh, man. Arena 9. Arena 9. <sighs> We then made some replacements in the deck. So we unlock Freeze from Trophy Road and we're going to use it instead of Fireball. I low-key don't want to use the Balloon anymore. Let's put Skarmie instead. And I think I'm going to put Fire Spirit instead of Prince for Cycle. And we then leveled up our cards using whatever we could. Well, at least most of our cards are level 8 now. Freeze was a massive game changer and it helped us so much get to Arena 10. See, this is why I love Freeze. Look, you freeze everything, put a skeleton on me, put something on top. I <laughs> what did bro freeze? And look at this Kami on the other side. Oh my days, bro. There's no need to Goblin Barrel. Okay, he puts a Prince very late. That means he has like zero Elixir right now. No way that Prince kills my what? So he's going to take my tower down. Ah, uh, that's not good. Let's go Pekka the back again. Okay, what the hell is that freeze? Skarmy. See if we can bait out his spell. Okay, he doesn't put arrows. Well, I think this is tower. Now we freeze everything. This is exactly why I love the freeze. I look, you want to predict something, but... Bro, what is he doing? He's wasting his whole elixir bar. We need to get ready with the arrows. He's going to put in... Not yet. Okay, I'm not going to do it. I do need to get his tower. Okay, I'm going to put Skarmy this lane. To pressure this side. And freeze we trust. And freeze we trust. We baited his arrows so he can't kill my goblin barrel. I knew it. Okay, okay, okay. Goblin barrel. And distract with the pecker. He's probably going to arrows, yeah. And now we're going to freeze everything. Yes! Oh my god, bro, the freeze, bro. It's so amazing. I'm glazing on the freeze, bro. Not even playing. And that is GG. And Arena 10. We are officially halfway through the challenge. And it's been nine hours. I don't want to oil up. And then, we didn't really unlock much or upgrade anything as we had access to very limited resources. Yep. There is absolutely nothing we can do. And this was a huge problem. As on our way to Arena 11, I was facing much higher level players and I kept losing. I think it was generally impossible to win some of these games. I literally can't do nothing. My arrows don't even kill wall breakers. He has level 10 goblin barrel. My tower needs to three shot it. My Pekka doesn't even watch on the three musketeer. How sad is that? Freeze that. His zap one shots my goblins, bro. Wow. I, I just can't win. And they PM like, like they're better or something, bro. It was impossible. The thing is, I was also losing to some players because they actually played well. Also, ignore the kid in the background. This is not one bit good. He predicted me. He has now an Inferno Tower. It's impossible. It's impossible for me to do anything. And even if I snipe the Inferno Tower, it still kills my Pekka. I realized the only way we will get out of here is if I lock in and play like I do when I push top ladder. So I stop crying about and try hard it. Let's go with my goblin barrel. Screw, he's probably gonna snowball, so let's freeze. Yeah, perfect. We're gonna get some hits at least. And then the knight dies, so that's good. I'm just gonna keep playing like this. I'm just gonna keep on playing nice, slowly, smoothly. Patience. I have two arrows that. I cannot sell, bro. I cannot sell. I cannot sell. I cannot sell. Okay, he's fireballing now. You know what? Let's try get some Larry. Let's get some Larry hits. Look at that Larry. Look at that Larry. That's so huge. I think that's GG's now, I think that's wraps. Yeah, he wastes his fireball, now he has nothing to the goblin barrel except snowball, but snowball's not enough. Arrows in case he puts Skarmy or something. Okay, one more game to go. We are eight trophies away. Eight trophies away from Arena 11, please. Please, I need to win. But unfortunately, this happened. Okay, we don't have a good starting hand, but it's fine. Okay, level nine goblin barrel. I think I have to take three shots to kill that. He's already going so aggressive. I have a terrible starting hand. I have a terrible starting hand. Oh my god, bro. As you saw there, not only was he overleveled, but I had a terrible start. No arrows for Goblin Barrel, and both my ground troops were off cycle for the Barrel Ram. And with that, it was hard for me to clutch, and I lost the final game. Starting hand, overleveled, hard counter, and he BMs. Honestly, it felt like we were never gonna get to Arena 11, but we still didn't give up, and we pushed back up. Scar me, and I'm gonna freeze prediction his bomber. Okay, that'll get us some hits at least. 
Yeah, that prediction won me the game. All right. Arrows, okay. One game away again. Realistically speaking, the only thing I had to do now is take down the princess tower and not lose mine to get to arena 11. Let's see if we can get it this time. <sighs> Man, I just want to get out of here. Let's go with this. Hold on. I think this might be it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait, maybe it's it. I think something's still hitting. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Which connect? Which connect? Oh, wait. Oh, what did he find? Oh, he fell with my father. No. I think we made out this prison. No, 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 we haven't. 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 Now we have. 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 This, I swear, this feels like a massive thing. I don't know if I'm going to hit 6,000 trophies, though. I am willing to go 24 hours. Man, usually in my videos, it takes me like 5 to 6 hours to get here. But we're taking 12 hours already. So clearly, money is important. And you can just tell how pissed I was. Anyways, we kept climbing and we got better levels thanks to the card masteries and getting to arena 12 wasn't too bad I said we start the arrow cycle right now. Screw it. Arrow cycle. Let's go. Let's go with the pepper here Oh, he's getting desperate. He's sending a thirsty mega knight. He's sending a really thirsty mega knight. Okay. Oh, hold on I think I'm just gonna freeze everything and I think I should get away with it Loki. Okay, but I'm not sure if I can get away with that as well. Okay This should be all right. I think Dude, okay. Wait, this is starting to get a little scary now. Now we go with goblin barrel Cycle our arrows, put a fire spirit, and that is game. Arena 12. And then we got some really good free to play rewards. And we can finally unlock legendaries. Let's go. I want a good legendary like Mega Knight or Spoggy, something strong. Something I said strong, not a minor. It's fine. There's always a second attempt. Come on. Oh, it's a wild card. Honestly, Sparky or Mega Knight, they're the strongest ones. I need something strong, something that can like just take everything. Come on. I mean, we're gonna have to use them because of the levels, but... So Inferno Dragon instead of the Baby Dragon and Princess instead of Fire Spirit. This is some knockoff log bait. We then pushed up and also got this for free from Trophy Road. Let's quickly open this chest. Lots of wild cards. That's really good. Okay, we unlock the log. Ah, oh, bro, why don't you give me cards that I'm using? Of course, you give me epics that I'm not using. Please, Sparky, Mega Knight. Sparky, Mega Knight. Let's go. It's like 1 a.m. So like I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it low, bro. My brain is fried. Oh yeah, and we can also get the lucky drop. If I get a legendary, I'll be so happy. Commons. I'll take some wild cards, honestly. Let's put my hardwood instead of arrows and Daddy Megana instead of Princess. And it's safe to assume the legendaries helped us so much to get to Arena 13. Oh my God, this is gonna be the most valuable hardwood. Onto the Valkyrie. Onto the Firecrack. Onto the Princess. <laughs> Now we're gonna go with a Pekka, Mega Knight Pro Tip, and now we have a Mega Knight, a Mummy Pekka. Now we log everything, now we go with a Goblin Barrel, and now we say good game to this poor fella because it is wraps. Ah, <sighs> finally, Arena 13. We were falling asleep and I was saying random stuff, but somehow we made it to Arena 14 with an easy last game. Is bro even gonna defend? Is bro even gonna defend? Is Mr. Naga gonna defend? Is Mr. Naga gonna defend this? He's not gonna defend this. Mr. Naga. Mr. Naga sounds similar to a word that I love. Arena 14, let's go. At 3 a.m. Huh? You need to be higher king level to progress to the next arena. Are we that underleveled? Yes, we were so underleveled we couldn't even go to arena 14 and I had to upgrade many cards. Oh, I just, yes. Level 22 at 3 a.m. challenge completed. 1,400 cups to go. Now, I have to say, the free-to-play experience was not nice. Like, generally, every match felt like bullying and I had to lock in. It was making my brain hurt, but eventually we were coming towards 5,000 trophies. Freeze. Okay. Gods. Wait, hold on. Please tell me I'll make it on time. Please tell me I'll make it on time. Please tell me I'll make it on time. Wait. 93, thank God. Thank God, it does enough damage. It does just enough damage. Oh my God, I almost got a heart attack. But then, I decided to do this. We are one game away from 5,000 trophies. And guys, not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna leave it after 5,000 trophies. It's already been 19 hours. My head hurts, my eyes hurt. 
<sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to oil up. I think this guy knows who I am, by the way. Let's go. Is he giving me the win or something? Well, turns out he was a fan and he let me have the win for 5,000 trophies. This is why I love you guys. You guys are amazing, man. This is the reason I do these videos. This is the reason I stay up this late. I have my finals next week, bro. I have my A-levels next week. And I'm here recording a 24-hour challenge. Well, that was the most anticlimactic 5k trophies ever. And <laughs> I can't even get to the arena, man. So yeah, I decided to leave it here. Because after playing Clash Royale for 19 hours, it was messing up my mental health. That's why next video, I want to go one week without using a phone. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get to the punishment. Oh, time to oil up. Get the angles right. Get the Stop. I know you got to scrub it around with me. <laughs> oh my days, bro. Oh my god, I'm oiled the hell up right now. We're trying to get as oily as possible. All right, let's go to the street real quick. Can you see I'm oiled up? I will head out to the street. And some random guy already saw me. So I'm on the street. Yo, there is so much people, bro. I'm oh, out. Oh, I'm oh, out. Oh, oh, oh.